In this tutorial we'll be taking a look at the Outline plugin from New Blue's Video Essentials 5 collection. Outline is yet another great example of a simple plugin that on the face of it is fairly basic but when you start to apply it to a variety of situations you see just how useful it can be. Put simply, Outline creates a keyframeable stroke or outline effect over anything with an alpha channel. That could be text, shapes, chroma keyed footage, anything that has a transparent layer. At its simplest you can apply it to text to lift it from the background or you can get really creative when you apply it to your footage, especially when you use it in conjunction with other plugins, in this case the Luma Key plugin from Video Essentials 4. This plugin is painfully easy to use, so as tutorials go, this one's going to be fairly brief. For the worked example, I'm just going to use a simple piece of text, but the principles are the same whatever media you're using. The outline interface comprises just four controls, width, soften, color, and opacity. Now in order to see anything, you'll need to set non-zero values for at least two of these, width and opacity. Width, as you can guess, sets the thickness of the outline, and opacity sets how much of the background can be seen through the outline. So let's set width to around 50, and opacity full on to 100. Ah, still no effect. Well, as you've probably already worked out, that's because the outline colour I'm using is the same as the background. So let's change that to something a little brighter. And there you go. You can immediately see the result. To be honest, I'm looking for something a little more subtle, so I'm going to play around with some of these settings. First off, let's introduce the Soften control. Soften lets you blur the outline from the outside in, so lower values just affect the edges, while higher values get right in there and blur the whole outline. Note that it's just the outline that's affected, not the original media. That's looking a lot nicer, but I just want to make one more change, and that's to the width. Now I could go all the way up to 100 which gives me a nice bold result that covers everything but in this case I want it to be subtle so I'll drop it right down. Don't forget you can keyframe all of these parameters, maybe so the outline grows or changes colour and if your NLE allows it you can add more than one instance of outline for some very interesting effects. So there you have it, not really a lot more I can say about this very handy little plugin. It's simple, effective, quick to render and most importantly, it's really useful.